Hi friends, Miss PG here. I am going to share with you a book, a story that is about feelings. And I know that you've been working on feelings and talking about your feelings with Ms. Elizabeth on some seesaw activities. And I also know that you guys are experts at your feelings. You have all sorts of feelings. You are human and we feel all sorts of different things. So today I want to share a book that helps you think about your feelings and you might hear some words that you haven't heard before. So there's some feelings you might not have heard about before and this book will help you think about those feelings. Then afterwards I'm going to ask you to draw and write about one of those feelings. So think as you listen. I first want to share with you a little page that I created that helps me think about some of the feelings that we have. Maybe some days I feel happy, sad, excited, scared, worried all in one day. And that's that's human. There's nothing wrong with that. So I want to share with you some of these feelings. Feelings, how are you feeling? It says happy, silly, good, proud, shy, angry, confused, oh, sad, tired, oh, so tired, worried, annoyed, scared. And I want to add one that's not on here. Excited. I'm feeling very excited today because I get to share with you one of my favorite books about emotions. And emotions, friends, is just another way to say feeling. A feeling is an emotion. And when we talk about feelings, we can use this sentence stem. So this is a sentence and then there's a line at the end right here. That's where we're going to put in our own thinking. So it's great to practice saying how you're feeling. So I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm going to say I am feeling I'm going to put in my own thinking today. Miss PG is feeling excited. I am feeling excited. I want you to pause the video. And I want you to think about how you are feeling. Find the little, find the little button that shows the lines. Whoop. Like this, shows the lines like this, kind of like the number 11. That's how you're going to pause and then you'll push the arrow button to press play again. And the arrow button looks like it's kind of a side triangle. OK. And here's what you're going to do when you press pause. You're going to think about how you're feeling right now. And you're going to use the sentence stem. I am feeling and then put your feeling word into it. So like Miss PG said, I am feeling excited. And I want you to say it out loud. There's so much power in sharing how you're feeling out loud with your own words. I am feeling. OK. Now we're ready to move on. So I am going to share with you our story today. And well, 
Whoops. Sorry, friends. There we go. Sorry about that. It is called The Way I Feel, and it's written. So the author is the person who writes the words. Say author writes the words. I like to do a little motion so I remember what the author does. Author writes the words and illustrator, like you're taking a paintbrush, draws or paints or creates the picture. Illustrator draws, colors, paints the pictures. So for this book, the author and the illustrator are one person and her name is Janan Kane. Okay, here we go. The way I feel. Silly. Silly is the way I feel when I make a funny face and wear a goofy poofy hat that takes up lots of space. <gasps> scared. I'm shaking because I'm scared all alone in the dark at night. The thunder and lightning crash and roar. Hold me close and turn on the light. Scared. The plans were made so long ago for you to visit me today, but now you can't and after all i'm disappointed you can't play the smile you see upon my face as the sun shines in the sky shows the world that i feel happy and my mood is soaring high so you can see her smile upon her face shows she's happy sad. Sometimes I feel so very sad and really don't know why. Instead of playing and having fun, I cry and cry and cry. Sad. Angry. Angry is how I feel right now. I shout with a mighty roar. I mostly want to frown and growl and stomp upon the floor angry thankful the wheel fell off my brand new truck i needed some help from you you kindly fixed my favorite toy i'm thankful for all you do frustrated i'm frustrated because i can't do it it's hard and i want to cry i don't know whether to give it it up or to give it another try. I can't make up my mind. There's nothing I want to do. The days drag on and on. I'm feeling bored and blue. Bored. I'm bouncing like a rubber ball. I'm more excited than I can say. It's really hard for me to sit when I'd rather jump and play. Excited. Jealous. I want to play with you right now. I don't think taking turns is fair. I'd rather have you to myself. I'm jealous when I have to share. Proud. I did it. I did it. I shout to the crowd. Getting dressed by myself makes me feel proud.
Feelings come and feelings go. I never know what they'll be. Silly or angry, happy or sad. They're all a part of me. That's the end of this story. So friends, you may have heard some feeling words that you had not heard before. One word that I like to talk about is feeling disappointed. Sometimes it's hard, but sometimes we get let down by some things. And disappointed is a feeling that we have to face, but you know what? It's okay. Feelings are part of living, part of our lives, part of being a human. So that was one word that I thought about that I don't always use. And I wanted to just share that I'm a learner too. And I'm still learning like what, what does disappointment mean? So that's just a feeling word I was thinking about. But today I'm just plain and simply feeling excited. So I want to show you how I drew myself excited. So this is what I have so far. So the first thing I did was I wrote my name on my paper and then I drew an upside down U to show my body. And then I'm showing excited. So we look to the face first to see emotion, to see feelings. So today I want you to practice drawing yourself with the emotion, the feeling of your choice. So if you were gonna do angry, your face probably wouldn't look like that. It'd probably look like, mm. make your best angry face. Mm. Or if you're gonna do scared, Think about what your face looks like when you're showing that emotion. As writers, we're gonna write about ourselves and our stories all throughout kindergarten and all throughout your life as a writer. So I want you to sh be able to show your emotion, your feeling, and let's start by practicing that by drawing our face and what does our mouth look like? when we're feeling excited or what does our mouth look like when we're feeling sad it changes so you can show that as a writer a writer is an artist as well so show that with your face i after i showed the showed my emotion of excited i could add detail so i want to match as best i can to what I look like so I'm gonna I have blonde hair so I'm gonna draw my blonde hair it's kind of long kind of like that and oh my eyes are blue so I want to add in a little bit of blue in my eyes and what you're gonna do is you're gonna do this for yourself what do you look like it might be helpful to look in the mirror And it also might be helpful to practice your feelings. You guys did a great job with practicing some of your feelings with Ms. Elizabeth's activities on Seesaw. And this is just another way to practice your feelings. So this is what I have so far, which it's not a finished product, but as a writer, it helped me think about how I show emotions in my face. And that's what your goal today is to do, to draw a picture of yourself and think of an emotion, a feeling word of your choice and show that emotion. And then once you're done, I want you to share with someone at home and use the sentence stem, I feel, hmm, Miss PG was, I feel excited. Okay, bye friends.